And as the Democratic Party of Wisconsin looks ahead after its state convention, many wonder who will emerge from a crowded field of 10 candidates for governor. NBC 26's Max Grossville has more from Oshkosh. As state Democrats inside the Oshkosh Convention Hall cast votes on their party's platform, Outside, they're voting in a straw poll conducted by WISPolitics.com. It's an early test of strength to see who, who maybe is organizing, taking it seriously, um, who has the pulse of the base. Here's how straw polls work. Activists at the convention mark ballots like this one for governor, lieutenant governor, and more. Voters say they hope these ballots can help start to separate some of the governor candidates from the rest of the pack. I think it's important that we kind of gauge people's opinion throughout the party base and kind of get an idea of who our candidate will be so that we can start uniting behind that candidate so that we have a better chance of beating Scott Walker. I would like to have the winner of the primary be someone with a majority or a strong plurality. Despite this poll, West Politics editor J.R. Ross says it's unlikely for candidates to start dropping out soon. We haven't seen anybody break out of the pack in the governor's race yet financially or in the polls, so we don't sense yet anybody's like get an incentive to drop out. Republicans, if you take a look. like Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish, have criticized Democrats for having what she calls a fractured party. Democrats, however, say competition within their organization is a good thing. Keeping you connected in Oshkosh, Max Grossfeld, NBC 26. And former state representative Kelda Royce took first place in the governor's race poll with 23% of the vote. For a look at the runner-ups and full results, just head to our website at NBC26.com.